Hi everybody. I've got like a gap in my schedule at the moment, two, three hours worth of nothing. So I thought, what better time than now to film a new YouTube video, uh, as it's been a while since I've uploaded something. This video is going to be 25 tunes that I have taught at various schools over the course of this term so far, so over the course of September. It's a vital mixed bag, so do brace yourself. Um, I'll play a little bit of each thing, uh, and maybe show a little bit of each tune as well. Check this stuff out. So the first tune I'm going to show you is Jumpsuit by 21 Pilots, which I believe is one of their newest tunes. It just goes like this. Obviously it's played on bass, but I'm dealing with a classical guitar here, so, um, and so are you. So, it's based on sort of a B minor pentatonic thing. It starts on the fifth string, going from fret five, from a D down to a B. Then you've got this like pull off on beat four to the open string. Head back to the D on fret five. Then we jump to F sharp, fret two on the sixth string. So you should have. Then we go to B. And then on beat three, we do a hammer on uh, from the open A to that note. And be it on beat four, so you should have. And then uh, the fourth bar is B to the open D, hammer on to E, and then F sharp here. Blame it on the boogie. Sound like that. So this time, Fret six, which uh, key of E flat, so you're going from six, E flat to G fret three on the six. Then we go to C fret three on the fifth, back to G, down to F, so you should have. And then the next bit is just a very weird sort of syncopation thing if you're not used to it. So it goes. And it's just a chromatic going from G, to B flat, and then we trip the C and B flat again. Chromatic. I'm sure everybody's played this sometime. And it's just the same shape over a 12 bar. Etc. So it's just literally from F to A flat, so from fret one to four, and then B flat, which is fret one on the next string down. And that's kind of your shape, so going from one, two flat, three, two, four. And all you do is you move that shape around to the different uh, keys you need to play. So you start on F, four bars of F, uh, then it's two bars of B flat, so which is fret one on the fifth string, back to F. Then you go to C fret three for one, B flat, and then two more on F. Something like that. Shotgun by George Ezra. So it's in the key of F, but we're all very familiar with the fact that he tunes um, a step down from standard. So uh, if you're playing the actual chords, then it should be G, C, E minor, D. But obviously when it's in half step, um, it will sound like F, B flat, D minor, and then C. That's pretty much the whole tune, but what I've been doing with kids, they'll learn the melody instead, so you might get stuff like. And then of course. So for this one, uh, this is another tune. I mean, I teach it in the key of A minor instead of G minor. G minor being the original. You could do the whole tuning thing if you want, uh, but of course, for kids who want to learn it, which is mostly young kids, um, you, if it's in G minor, you're mostly dealing with bar chords. But it's much more easy if it's A minor, F major seven, and then E or with an E seven instead. And of course, that could be chords. Uh, the other popular thing is uh, the melody. And that's really easy in the key of A, a minor for most kids because they know the open notes rather than sort of. 
Shy by the Magician, which possibly is like the, the worst name for an act, I don't know, but... On that one you're dealing with the hardest chord in the world, which is E minor. Uh, and then this next chord... It's like an add 11 and 6, isn't it? 6 add 11? I'll put the right name somewhere on the screen now, but essentially what it is, it's like a C major 7 chord, uh, but fretted at fret 5 and 4, all right? And then the next chord uh, is actually C major 7, so you can literally slide the shape down, and then you can slide it back up for that D chord there. So it literally goes one, one bar of E minor, one bar of this D chord, bar of the C major 7, two beats here, and then two beats there. So one E minor, Funky D chord, C major 7, 2 more, then 2, and back. Because it's like autumn, got to do a bit of... I'm using this one as a good little one for just teaching 7th chords. The main sort of thing starts with A minor 7th, D7, G major 7, C major 7, and obviously you've got the one which isn't quite a 7th, you've got um, uh, F sharp minor 7 flat 5, and then you can go back to B7, and then resolve again to the hardest chord in the world, E minor. So the Beatles are always a popular choice for most students regardless of what age. Um, so quite a few students this uh, term have learned Day Tripper. And that kind of just, it's that riff, and then of course you've got the bar chords that go after with that. So, but the main riff kind of starts on the open E, then it goes uh, G and G sharp, third and fourth, to B, second fret on the fifth, uh, E, second fret on the fourth, open D, back to B, F sharp, fret four on the fourth fret, uh, string, and then B, open D, and then E. So. And then it basically just changes key, so it goes from uh, E, which is your 1, and then it goes to the 4th, and with this riff what's really cool is it's just a matter of changing which string you start the riff on, so you go to A, so you just move the shape down and then back up again. Then of course you've got your bar chords, uh, F sharp for 4 bars, A for a bar, G sharp for a bar, C sharp for a bar, B for a bar. They do argue that a good riff should sound awesome on a nylon string. I think it sounds pretty good. It's a standard, man. So it's really cool for sort of just the open chords. And then the little pull-off riff. So the trick with this one, because it's all sort of semi-quavers, uh, starts on the E of 3. One, two, three. And then you've got that little pull-off. Um, string bend and pull off there. And then you've got the second bit which is the little chromatic thing. So you go from B to G sharp to A, A sharp and side and B. Yeah, banging riff. And of course don't forget often overlook that one. That's a you know an absolute killer riff in that tune. You know you could have made a whole tune off that. Oh, basket case. Yeah, pretty cool for power chords if you, and just muting and all that sort of stuff. So it starts on the uh, root, which is seventh on the fifth string. Then you hop up a string to seventh on the sixth string, which gives you B. Then you need to go to the 4th fret for C sharp on the 5th string. G sharp, which is 4th uh, on the 6th. So you got... 
which is such a cool pattern because it's just a matter of literally moving the shape on the same frets. Then we go to A fret five on the uh, sixth string, back to E and back to B. Easy power chord, well I say it's easy, it's a good one to get your chops up to speed with. So I do it with a capo and play it in G, so you get. So E minor, G with a push, C, G, back to E minor, G, C, then G, and D on four. Easy. Oh my god, so this was a, a nice annoying one I had to learn over the summer for a band. This is Bills. <laughs> so, uh, this was taught in bass rather than guitar, but I mean, what's the guitar? Like? But we do need boom, 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 the distorted bass. And then uh, the verse, which has got a cool little thing for learn, uh, sort of just doing the octaves thing for. Um, so an easy way to find octaves, especially on sort of the uh, bottom four strings. If you know the root notes here and you want to find an octave, it's literally just two strings down, two, two frets across. And of course on a bass that works everywhere because everything's tuned in fourths. Guitars it's slightly different once you get to the B string. Um, but So uh, again this is George Ezra and it's that whole tuning thing again. So um... and all that sort of thing. And then it's with the melody. in the record of course it's in F but uh, it's played sort of in G on guitar. Oh tune Roxanne. So that was just teaching the guitar part for that. No guitar lessons in this day and age isn't complete without a bit of Coldplay. So Viva La Vida, um, you can do this uh, key of G of a capo at fret one. And it's kind of a, so it's C, uh, like a D9 chord. And G, E minor. And in a way, it's quite cool to work on the whole staccato thing as well, because it's kind of got that, obviously, if you think like how the strings are on the record, it's kind of very short, snappy sort of. <laughs> the rhythm right. So it's all that sort of thing. And then you can open it up, come to the choruses. <laughs> If you want, so that's Viva La Vida, a bit of Coldplay. That's quite an easy one to learn if you want to learn some Coldplay stuff without going properly into depth with stuff. And of course, with uh, I don't know if most people know, but a lot of the Coldplay uh, material on guitar isn't a stranger to being in uh, weird alternative tunings. The tuning for Yellow is, you know, a very bizarre tuning. E A B G B D sharp, but the minute you put it in the tuning, it literally sounds like the song. It's it's awesome. It's really really cool. So yesterday, All Star, Smash Mouth. Uh, so there's another band that's in half step, but you can play this in G. So these are nice little double stop chords. You can just do the normal chords. It's like G, D, A minor, C, but you want. And then you've got the chorus, which is, was it G, C? Like the, uh, what do we call it? It's like a C sharp. I'll put the name of the chord, I can't think what it is at the moment. So this next one's a given for my sort of teaching when it comes to teaching uh, students their first chords. Uh, so it's Wild Thing by the Trogs, which is just literally A, D, E, D. <laughs> next one, reminds me of my childhood. Country roads, take me home. 
I belong in West Virginia. Mighty mama, take me home. Country roads. Tune from my childhood. Thanks, Mum. Definitely this next tune needs cowbell. for that one. All right, so here's a, a slightly more alternative tune from Ed Sheeran's new record, uh, Happier. So it's just A minor seven, then like an F, where you're taking off the middle finger and then back to a C. So a good set of chords that's like hundreds of different tunes already. So I mean, obviously it's Happier. Is it Stay With Me, Sam Smith? Well, you stay with me? All right, cool. So the last five tunes on my list. I need to be in drop D for this. So, let's just change. so this one's in drop D. <laughs> Not gonna sing that one because you've heard how awful my singing is already. So, open power chords. So rather than doing that shape, um, power chord and drop D of course is just one finger across those three strings. Same band, um, I suppose this could be done in drop D, I'm going to put it back in standard. Of course, superb on bass because it's a bass riff but you know, nothing's stopping you playing it on guitar. Uh, and of course there's always kids that are into this. for that one. Last but not least. Hopefully the one song I won't get demonetized for <laughs> because it's like hundreds of years old. I like playing the sad version of that. tragic isn't it that is 25 songs i've taught over this term so far not sure how long this video has gone on for but probably long enough so anyway thank you for watching if you like this video let me know in the comments below like share and, and all that sort of thing and subscribe of course and i mean if there's any songs you want me to take further and expand on how to play them or if there's any song requests i could potentially cover on youtube then uh let me know because it's all new avenues for me to explore and potentially adds uh, a bit more regular content on my channel which of course it's been lacking quite a while now uh, unless of course you want to see more miku videos and stuff like that so thanks very much uh, and have a great rest of your day bye